I'm going to do a quick video tutorial for you on how to do a 12 volt accessory power system uh, using a 48 volt relay for a uh, EasyGo RXV. Uh, important thing to know about these carts, especially that it's different from most carts, is these are a a uh, fully computer controlled system. Um, the solenoid does not function in the same way that um, the stop start solenoid does on other type carts. Uh, this is a Danaher uh, controller, uh, the Curtis controller that's a little bit newer would, will act the same way pretty much. Um, so here's how I have it wired up. Uh, this down here is my uh, 12 volt reducer. I have the input uh, for it, the 48 volt input uh, wired through a 48 volt relay um, to uh, turn it on and off so it doesn't turn my battery and so forth. Uh, I have the uh, relay trigger uh, tied through the 12 volt, sorry, the 48 volt system that uh, is switched through the ignition. I'll show you how that works. Um, this is the wiring diagram for this cart and that right there, this is your uh, constant 48 volts. It comes off of pin one um, and it goes to the different, uh, different accessories and everything that are, or I guess the sensors and so forth around the cart. Um, and so I have it wired together. Uh, the battery is turned on, so I'll show you how it works. Uh, my meter here. Uh, this is the, uh, the battery input. See battery pack volts right there, 53 volts, pack volts. Uh, however, let's see. All right, so that's my uh, relay input. Right now it's at zero volts because the ignition is off. So let's turn the ignition to on. Here, going through self tests, and you saw that my uh, power is now on because. Uh, I have it set up with the relay. So here's my relay, and I'm seeing pack volts on the relay. Uh, the relay, when it sees voltage, completes the circuit between uh, the battery and my um, 12 volt uh, reducer. So that's how I have it done. Of course, uh, your negatives go to your uh, negatives on your battery. I have a uh, uh, terminal block there for that. And then I have a terminal block for my 12 volt accessories as well. So that's how you do it.